Hello and welcome to 3D RCNC. First of all, I just want to tell you that I'm working on the DIY 3D printer and uh, it's coming together quite fast, uh, even though it has taken a couple of months. Uh, so, uh, right now I'm editing all of the videos for that. Uh, it will probably be about 10 of them. Uh, and yeah, just so, so you know that I'm working on those and this is kind of something that has to do with that because these are uh, the wheels i'm using on my diy 3d printer uh, uh, so i printed the wheels uh, just out of regular pla because uh, if the material is hard then um, you get less friction and pla is one of the hardest materials uh, and also you need uh, the C seam need to be uh, really smooth because otherwise you will get the bumps uh, all over the uh, surface uh, right here. But uh, yeah, that we'll talk about the slicing later. Uh, there are some uh, wheels uh, similar to this on Thingiverse, but what's special about this is that uh, the center right here, uh, where the bearings uh, rest against. Uh, these are straight so it can bridge straight over uh, and that uh, uh, makes it so the these center parts are uh, a lot uh, better and more at the center so uh, the wheels uh, run a lot straighter and you get more precision uh, and then I have this washer uh, in the center as well uh, and that uh, is just so you don't crush the bearing when you tighten it because these are uh, uh, specific uh, thickness between uh, the bearings uh, there is two versions one slightly bigger one and one slightly smaller one uh, because uh, uh, some printers over extrude and even though you can adjust the wheels with eccentric nuts uh, sometimes uh, yeah, you can just try which one works better for you. And uh, with that said, uh, let's move on to the slicing process. Here in Cura, uh, you can see we have the bigger version. It takes about 21 minutes, but you might be able to do it uh, faster. I won't recommend to do several at a time uh, because the moves between them uh, will make stringing and bumps on the wheels, which uh, make them uh, uh, not as uh, smooth. Uh, uh, as you can see right here, there is not much touching the build plate because it's the same on the other side. So, uh, uh, brim uh, is quite good, they are easy to take off later as well. I'm printing at point one to give a lot of detail. So, uh, these uh, surfaces uh, uh, that are 45 degrees are really smooth you might be able to do 0.2 but uh, this is uh, the best then the wheels uh, should probably be solid so just bump up the walls and top bottom layers to until you see that this it's uh, completely solid here you can see these bridges as well uh, and if this would be a circle, they would uh, drip down uh, a lot more. So, yeah, that's it. It's quite simple, just a few things to remember. And then, uh, with these, you need these uh, uh, 6 to 5 bearings. Uh, they're quite cheap and if you make the wheels uh, it will be a lot cheaper than uh, buying them so yeah that's it for this video and i'm working on the diy 3d printer where i'm using uh, these wheels and those uh, videos will probably be out in uh, a week or slightly more than that so this is the wheel printed uh, it looks uh, quite good and as you can see the bridge is here in the middle so the bearings will uh, lay straight and then 
in this one I pushed a burn um, in and so it uh, uh, goes uh, uh, only halfway to those then you can push the other bearing in you will need to uh, make a washer or just use a regular washer those are on the fingers page as well but I don't have one now and just to show you could probably just push uh, this one in but if you want to make sure it goes in straight you can just uh, use a bolt to line it up and then you should be able to just push that other bearing in and uh, you need that uh, um, uh, you need that uh, washer in the middle so the bearings don't get crushed when you tighten these otherwise they can uh, be a bit rough so you can either print that or just use a thin washer in the middle so that's my easy printable wheels and uh, I'm using that on my DIY 3D printer and they work really well so if you want to download them uh, you can do that by clicking the link in the description and yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one